are back to chop mode and we look at our exhaust in reverse to see how it's done. Uh, we had this winter today and if we go back we had two winters yesterday and two winters on Friday. So we had that big move last week down and it had a loss, a, a losing streak. So we're going to take a look at the equity curve for that. Here is the equity curve. We had this pullback here. This is that slippage in commission. So the equity curve got more volatile, but we're making our way back towards equity peaks now. I anticipate more of this price action. We may get more. Uh, we don't. I don't ever see uh, multiple straight down sell-off days. Uh, we. It's possible that that could happen in the future, and you might want to take a look at the worst case drawdown. In this case, it did make a worst case drawdown by a small amount and then it's recovering now so you don't want to put your stop loss on the system at exactly the worst case drawdown you want to give it a little room and buying the dips is a great way to get in and so if you see a few losses in a row that can be an ideal time to trade this strategy so that's exhaust in reverse continue to recommend this this strategy for this type of market for uh, the reasons that we just stated, just continued choppiness in this market. So that's the update on that strategy. I want to show you another way to trade very uh, choppy markets in narrow ranges and volatility. So we're taking a look at the DAX. A couple of things you can do um, when the markets are, have very narrow ranges is to trade the stock index with the biggest daily dollar range. And right now that's the DAX by far. It can have uh, much larger daily dollar ranges. So you want to go counter trend on the choppier stock index and you want to trade trend on the more volatile, uh, bigger point value stock index where the, where the trends are easier to see. And we have this strategy. This is tick count trend on the DAX. And I haven't opened this up in a year. And so I have a lot of strategies that I monitor, a lot of markets. And here's what it's done over the past year. Not great results, but it's still positive. And I want to show you the money management algorithm because I've got a lot of questions. What are the walk forward results when you have a money management algorithm? This is a nice equity curve right here. So I want to take a look at the money management algorithm version of this. I'm clicking on the next workspace, and the results are much better. And again, this has been it's been over a year. Uh, since I saved this workspace and taken a look at this money management algorithm, I've been busy with other things. And so what has it done? 73, 63, 43 U.S. dollars, 36.79 drawdown, 200 average trade profit, which is, this is based on U.S. dollars. We can put it in euros, and you can see only 38 trades, so it's very selective. The equity curve is here. You have this drawdown, and then this equity curve, so it's got some periods of nice trading and these are some walk forward results using the money management algorithm on DAX tick count trend and this is this is the way to trade in my opinion when you have very choppy narrow ranging markets is to go uh, counter trend a market like the evening S&P and a trend strategy for something like the DAX.